Welcome to Hotel Transylvania. Where monsters and their human admirers can relax, cut loose, and get away from it all. Thank you for considering our show, Hotel Transylvania. We think you'll find our characters fun and engaging, the plot lines instructive and enjoyable, many opportunities for product placement advertising, and a wide range of appeal. When monsters need to unwind, they go to Hotel Transylvania, a place of safety and solace for monsters for over a century. The hotel is the realized dream of Count Dracula, who wanted to create a safe place for monsters to relax and enjoy entertainment together without the threat of human attack. While Count Dracula is the boss of the hotel, it is really run by a motley crew of monsters, all of whom have been doing so for over a century. Each of the monsters involved with running the hotel has their own distinctive management personality and style. From the Count's overbearing micromanaging to Quasimodo's personification of the horrible boss, to the zombie's nearly complete lack of personal drive. There are plenty of opportunities for these monsters to learn better ways of managing. After more than a century of safety and relative calm, the Count's daughter's 118th birthday ends up bringing a shocking interloper to the hotel, a human. This human's arrival is the trigger for many changes to Hotel Transylvania and the monsters who live, work, and vacation there. The audience is drawn into the lives of these characters, who they are, and how they respond to one another, and how they live and work together. With their changing circumstances, we ultimately discover who they really are when some of their most deeply held values are challenged by a changing world. So grab the kids, sit back, relax, and enjoy our frighteningly lovable characters as they navigate through lessons of managerial concepts and how they apply to the monstrous hospitality industry at Hotel Transylvania.